I found the chemist. He's right here. I'm gonna kill him. Nice! We got it, boys. We got it. We killed him. Let's go. Boss down. Let's get it. Yes, I killed the chemist, unlocked the DMZ contraband M13B. All I ask is for you guys to hit that subscribe button. We're 600 off of 50,000. Sorry for the laggy gameplay. The servers are new. Season 1 is here and everyone wants the battle pass. So on screen is some COD points. $10 worth to get the battle pass to one lucky subscriber. All I have to do is be subscribed to the channel and turn on post notifications and like the video and let's get into it. So now you want to go over to DMZ and you load into the DMZ playlist. Now here's the thing. Play with three friends or two friends because you can only play with three people. And here's the thing. It's really, really hard. The AR are actually relatively hard so the first thing I want you to do is when you load into DMZ look at your mini map on screen you're gonna see my mini map and it's gonna show you the radiation zone so the DMZ thing says in order to unlock the M13B you have to kill the chemist inside of the radiation zone the radiation zone is on screen so when you get to the radiation zone I recommend these things first thing I'd recommend is getting an armored vehicle usually they spawn near strongholds in DMZ so try to find a regular car with your two friends and then get into an armored vehicle I beg you guys to get into an armored vehicle because it makes it 10 times easier what you want to do is you want to run around or, or drive around the DMZ zone and find gas masks usually gas masks will spawn inside of the zone because all of the AI have the gas masks on to survive inside of the radiation zone so when you kill them look for the gas masks on the floor now you'll end up getting a notification that the chemist is nearby so it'll say like enemy chemist is nearby or the chemist is coming to your location blah 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 it'll say it on the it'll say it in big 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 bold letters and it'll say chemist is coming to your location so make sure your eyeballs are open and you're on the lookouts to where the chemist is actually going to be landing so after you find the chemist he's going to have a bunch of people near him and here's the thing is he's very very strong you're going to know what he looks like on screen you're going to see he's big and yellow he's an absolute monster he's really hard to kill it takes probably an entire clip from the ak probably even more he has a bunch of armor on and he one hit beats you down and he'll kill you if you don't have armor on so here's the thing here's the biggest tip i can give you besides obviously being in an armored vehicle. When you get into that armored vehicle, have your friends there. Now, what you wanna do is clear out the minions around him because they don't respawn. Uh, if there are AI around, they will start circulating in like a magnet kind of, and they'll just come into the zone and you'll have to kill them too. But I would definitely not make it super hectic and I would just slowly, slowly play with your friends kill people, put on armor plates, make sure you guys don't get downed or die, and then we'll finally find where the chemist is, kill him, and he will drop a weapon, which is the M13B. Now, here's the thing. It's not like, it's not gonna show up in big letters. He's using the M13 to shoot you. So when he dies, it's like contraband. So when you pick it up, you're actually getting the weapon blueprint. So it'll unlock it. So when you shoot him down and you kill him, he'll drop the weapon. You pick the weapon up. After you pick the weapon up, you want to find the nearest exfil location and you exfil there. Now, here's the thing, guys. When you locate the exfil center, make sure when you call it in, camp as hard as you can. Look what I'm doing. I'm literally camping in a building where I can't die. And I literally sit there and wait for the exfil chopper to come in and then I leave. Now, here's the thing. If you do not have the weapon on you and you have not picked it up, nobody else gets it but that person who picked up the weapon. So I need you guys to, like, I need to reiterate this for you guys. So the way it works is if you have... The weapon on you, the contraband weapon on you, you will unlock the blueprint. But if nobody else has it on them, it only drops one. So that means only that person that has the contraband weapon on them will unlock it. So that's why I say play with friends. The reason being is because if you're playing with multiple people like that are your actual friends, you can just keep rerunning the mission, rerunning the mission, and rerunning the mission. And somebody will actually be like, hey, listen, let this guy get it now. Let John get it. Let Jake get it. You know, so you're not just fighting over who actually gets the weapon. Because that's happened to me multiple times where I've actually killed the chemist, literally was the guy that killed it, clutched up, killed the chemist, and I didn't get the contraband weapon because somebody else picked it up. And and was kind of being a, a d-bag about it so yeah if you guys are wondering this is the easiest and best way possible to unlock it through dmz hopefully this did help you guys out if it did be sure to hit that like button and subscribe that's all i ask is if you guys could subscribe to the channel my name's kando i absolutely love you guys and i'm out peace